Good evening and uh, welcome to Once Upon a Time in the Old World, uh, Season 2, Episode 11. Um, I am your Games Master, Jim, and this is my epic party of pulverisers. Hi, I'm Roger. I'm playing Johan von Erpinder, the human engineer, and this week I've not spent any XP. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron and I am playing Hagen Witter von Delbers, the human knight of Ulrich, and I also have not spent any XP. Hey boy gum, it be I, more deck, your favorite Dowie. Um, uh, this week, uh, if I can get Foundry working, I am going to spend my XP on some talents that enable me to use two handed uh, two weapons for shits and giggles. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin. I am playing Carolyn Redmacher, the human warrior priest, and this week I have spent my XP on prey, because blessings are good. Good evening all, I'm Dan and I'm playing your not-so-favourite elf. Uh, this week I have spent uh, my XP on just uh, improving my general uh, skills. I'm trying to get to uh, my next level of being a diplomat, because... I'm definitely still a diplomat. Okay. So, if you joined us last week, um, there was a bit of a standoff. Hagen had um, an honour duel um, with one of the, the main um, uh, villains of the piece. And he came out victorious. Just, I believe. Um, just. Just. Uh, and the, the group have just managed to start to get a few allies in their cause. Um, but at, towards the end of the session, they hit upon a bit of a stumbling block as one of the allies uh, that, that had got involved happened to be uh, a pair of witch finders, witch finder sisters um, called... I forgot their names now already. How about that? Um, Edith, the Craven Edith Sisters. Edith and Whisper and Reedy, weren't it? Uh, and they're the Craven Sisters, I believe. So, yeah, that sounds about right. Edith and Whisper and Reedy leave the room and shut the door behind them, and leave you as a group in, in there with. Um, Moritz, who is a knight of the White Wolf, and Ars Ulrich, and also Ingrader as well is with you in there, and a couple of guardsmen. <laughs> Look, I, I know, I know they're quite um, forward, um, but. You know, we, I mean, if I was going to be honest, we, you know, we've only just met ourselves and we all know how, you know, like the, the corruption is uh, in this land. You know, we, we'd be, we'd be fools if, if we, we trusted one another impeccably. Um, I'm just putting that in the hands of uh, one of the, the patron gods, uh, you know, yeah, uh, they are. Sigmar's um, tool, um, and you know I, I trust I trust them impeccably. Sigmar uh, is your god, though, and not our god. Right, ancestor, right. ancestors, gods. Very different to what you've got going down. You choose to live in our cities. Mm. Yeah, I do suggest <laughs> you know you're standing in the building. Yeah, and you're really running me to insulting me. Yeah, you keep mentioning your gods and our gods. I am me merely saying that you, I believe it was you, Mordek, who asked for some backup of the Sigmar church. Yeah, and th that, that is where I got my idea from. Um, and, and rightly so. Yeah, they are, you know, they are. Militia priests, if you want to call them that, they they have connections within the Sigma, uh, you know, church that we will need. That they will be willing to give it, but they've got to have their minds put at rest. 
as do all of us. Yep, a pool father. Now, I'm not your father. Please don't come with your father. He's he's higher than your father. I don't know what the difference is. (laughs) I don't know. Hey, look. I apologize. I I don't know what the difference is. Uh, (laughs) Now. Uh, the dowry ancestors do teach to respect those that are humans who wield the hammer in the name of Sigmar, um, and and to honour them if they do ask us for help, which is why he just eyes his ear. But I will not have them cast dispersions on my honour. Now, if you oh. want to come to an accord, I'm happy to. They only asked to interview you. I don't understand. It's the way the they way did you... it. That's their, their way. <laughs> I'll make no way excuses rubbish. for them. Well, with all due respect, the uh, brothers and sisters of the Silver Hammer are not known for their restraint, though, are they? And many an elf and a dowie have ended up on a burning pyre because we're slightly different. Many an elf oh, and a forgive- dowie have not, with witnesses been putting every chaos abomination they have encountered for the last few months to the sword and axe. Uh, I'd like to add that very. I can't think of a single Dowie that's been burnt by the Sigmarite Church. The Sigmarites hold the Dowie in the utmost respect. Okay, then it's just the elves Doesn't to get burnt. Doesn't sound like this one, this one does. They don't trust anyone without having properly questioned them. That's That's, that's their purpose. Exactly. All right. I, here, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Now, I'm willing to agree to an interview, same as the elf has, with, uh, with a witness. But if I don't like what's being asked, I'm leaving. I'm happy to stand in with you. I'm a right. Sigmarite. Well, I'm, That'll be I'm fine by than, me. I'm more than happy to sit in. You know, I, I, I don't mind that. I'll sit in, in the room with you all. Excellent, my lord. I think that is a fair compromise. The sooner we get views done, the quicker we can be in business, which is saving this city. I should have never left off one. <laughs> but I'm quite happy to hear here, here, Elmara, from Master Duelist and an ex-diplomat as well. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> apparently, I appear to be failing, or at least they're losing my touch in that aspect. Arguing with the witchfinder probably isn't the best diplomatic thing to do, really, if you don't mind me saying. Well, I, I mean, mean you, if, if we're all you, being honest you, with one another, to... I, I submitted myself to an interview, but with you a did, witness. And then you seem to put up walls when your dwarven friend started kicking off. Wait, yeah, I mean, and then you seem to I mean, go, your friend is a bit of a strong word. However, <laughs> I would not see anyone done misjustice. Uh, Perhaps we can wrap this up. We are on a very tight time scale here. Yeah, can, can we do the interviews after we get over to the, the Palace Gardens? Because I feel like we kind of need to do that job first. Like, how quick, how long are these interviews going to take? So, your plan is to race over to the gardens and do what? Kill all the bad guys and, uh, you know, the kind of thing we normally do kill all the bad guys, save the people, you know, save the world. So- the witch finders there's might yourself, have very useful there's information me, for There's us. Moritz, and there's a, a few dozen militia outside, and you want to rush into an headlong fight with armoured men if they've got the guards with them. I mean, we've faced worse, haven't we, guys? We've got Hagen. That looks like he's like, uh, Elmar, I, I think it's a best if we maximize our allies in this effort that last uh, that last duel came they close may, to putting me down they may also know more to ch- they may know more than we do perhaps about the ebon blade their job is rooting out this kind of thing mm. perhaps with their knowledge as well we might be able to find them and put an end to them don't do a very good job Oh. I mean, um, I'm just, I'm just stating the obvious. There is a giant chaos corruption thing underneath the city. They're not doing a very good job. 
that may be However, true, but they might know we, something we, else. We shall submit to the interviews. Let's get them over and done with, because we've got cities to rescue, and quite frankly, I'm probably going to go home after this. <laughs> you guys have dragged me into far too much trouble. However, I did send word to my father in Nordorf of all these problems. You never know, you might get some aid at some point. Um, I will say to Mordak in Kazlid, typical elf fleeing the old world once a going gets tough. I'll have a giggle. <laughs> and Ilmarin knows for a fact you're talking about him, but he's just going to ignore it. So there is a knock on the door, and in walk in the two witch finders again. And they have someone with them. Um, it was a halfling with big mutton chops. And you, <laughs> rec- you recognise him as... There we go. Raymort Underfoot. Ah, Raymort, my friend. Ah, oh, right here, Underfoot. A pleasure to see you. Yeah, um, it seems that this um, gentleman has some information for us. We've worked with Mr. Underfoot before as well. Um, he says that he's seen um, some known members of this Ebon Blade that you're talking about um, entering a um, an inn um, in near the park, um, an inn that's called the Bright Sun. Oh, how um, long ago? Now, I'm willing to put the the question and off till later. Um, I think it's uh, impeccable that we uh, we act on this now. Now, I definitely I, agree with you. That's a sound plan. Can I go dip my sword in the flames of Ulrich first, though? Yeah, I'm standing there unloading my pistol, as in removing Taking the ammunition, the, ammunition powder, the powder out, literally before. shooting it. <laughs> In graded stats, she says, right, well, if you don't mind me speaking, I've not been that vocal, but we need some form of um, maybe a distraction or, or something. So if we have a group um, that, that attack and then a, a group of us could maybe get into this bright sun and see what's happening there. You say there was a casket. Uh, yes, ma'am, there was a casket. It, it, it looked like a a, um, a coffin. That could well be the real Artur. I agree, Johan. I think, uh, and, and guard captain, I think your plan is sound, a distraction that allows us to get into the inn. Uh, and reconnoiter first might be handy or at the very least strike at them from behind so that they are trapped between the anvil and the hammer I just assumed that uh, we would be the distraction <laughs> uh, oh, yet to, I mean I can be a distraction I can just go you know play some merry tunes and skip around you know they'll probably wonder what a weird elf is doing dancing on the lawn You'll probably be shot within seconds. Well, not if I'm playing a merry tune, maybe. I was going to say, I, I normally let him finish. Um, it, it just seems that, you know, we've got a group here that works well together. Um, maybe if the sisters go in um, with ours, Ulrich and uh, Moritz, and um, and their militia, um, and then we basically go and see what we can get. He, you know, uh, and she turns around to. She, do, do we need the whole body, or or would like the school do? Do we know, or or like you know? The, I, I say we it, smash it, it to be sure. So you're going to smash, you want us to smash up the the remains of 
Yeah, okay. And then we, you can reinter yeah. him into Moore's garden with all the respect he's due as a noble person of Middenheim. <laughs> Uh, okay. Probably need R. L. Rick's approval to do such an act. Yeah, I, I would. I would rather not have them uh, desecrated so so much. Um, if we can retrieve, if we, move, if we can retrieve the skull, yeah, absolutely. Or the I, or the the the, the, waste or, or or the, the spine, limbs, the pelvis. Yeah, or, yeah. Pelvis. I mean, if if we take the you know <coughs> the forearms and the thighs. I, I, if we take, if we take, yeah, we'll a f- if we take some, if each of us picks up two bones and we run in different directions, I mean, I'm not entirely sure that's how magical spirit reanimation works. I mean, obviously, we, I'm not a magical expert in its entirety, but I don't think they're trying to draw his spirit here to this world and they're going to do something with him. I don't think we, they entirely need his body. Um, if they don't need his body, then smashing it's not going to do anything. Well, well I, be- I believe that they indicated that the ritual did require right, a spot. Well, let's just go with just picking up some of the bones anyway, and we'll just shoot every bastard in the room. All right, let's just try to get as much of the body as possible. If it looks like the options are smash it or they take it, then we'll smash it, I think. Unless you particularly object. Uh, okay. Solvik. So our plan is, and forgive me, I'm not a military kind of guy, but we're starting with, we'll try and retrieve it. We will try and yep. retrieve parts of it. If we're up against the wall and we're all going to die, we'll smash it so they can't use it. Correct. Okay, I'm yeah. on board with this plan. Mr. Underfoot, is there another way into the inn? Uh, in through the cellars or perhaps... No, 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 right, Hagen, I'll stop you there. I am not going underground. I'm not going underground. I'm not going in the sewers. I'm not going anywhere near anything that has rats, demons, or anything like that. And quite frankly, I am fed up of being covered in the... I'm fed up... Of... I'm going to ignore you for now, Mordek. I'm going to... I'm fed up of being covered in fecal matter from humans. That's just... I've had to buy several new pairs of boots. Right, right. More, I, th- I, think, I think the funniest quite... thing of that statement is that he thinks it's all human. Um... <laughs> there is a um, leather worker next to um, the bright sun um, called the leather jerkin. Um, cellars are around that. We could pass through from cellar to cellar quite easily. We'd probably have to remove a few bricks, but they're not. They're not. They're not that hard to remove, or so I've been told. They're not. Well, Mr. Underfoot, that sounds like a solid plan. Ilmarin, since we would only be going into cellars and not the sewers, would that be all right? That will be okay. Unless it smells bad, and in which case I'll go through the front door while you go through the cellars. (laughs) Everything smells bad to you. Well, yes, but if it goes through my handkerchief with my herbs on it, then it smells really bad. (sighs) I mean, humans smell bad, (laughs) Johan. And I've been in the presence of them for a very long time. Just roll his eyes at that comment. Well, I think we have a good plan. Let's let's make it happen in Ulrich and Sigmar's name. I would suggest that it might be um, best if we move under the shadow of night, maybe. Sound plan. How good is human's eyesight in the dark? Just a, just a question. Poor. Okay, how is the distraction attack going to work if they can't see what they're doing? Or are they going to light torches? Is that going to be part of the dis- uh, distraction? If it's in the street, there'll be lamp- lamps around. Okay, in which case me and Mr. Mordex shall lead the way, for we have impeccable eyesight in the dark. Uh, we, cannot, we also have these things called lanterns. Yes, but we don't want them to see us coming in the, in the cellars, do we? Well, if they do, they might have an accident. Elmar, okay. your your plan is sound. That's Johan just being obstinate this evening. It seems. <laughs> I just want to shoot some heretics. <laughs> then why do we go through the front door? I've had enough of these. I mean, I mean as as life goes, Sigma goes, pretty cool. <laughs> heretics around here. All right, and then I believe we have a plan. Alric, if you would bless us. 
So my suggestion is you go back and get your kit, what do you need or anything that you need, and then we meet back here, shall we say, in an hour, and then we all stay here until it all goes down. Let's have a drink. Uh, Ulrich, do you have anything that could help uh, my friend here? I'm gesturing to Hagen feel a bit better. He took quite a, a beating in slaying that thing. Um, I'm, uh, mother, this the wound still troubles me, Johan, but I don't know that it's ever going to heal uh, at this point. So uh, mechanically speaking, Hagen is back to his full wounds, minus okay. the two that are permanently gone. So, Okay. Um, we Can caught, I just go but... sit by the new fire? I want to go see the sacred fire. Is that okay? Can I just, am I allowed to just go see it? Is that a thing? Can I just... I don't know. I don't know what the human rituals are with this. I would suggest that um, Carolyn and um, Hagen go and use the the fires of Auric. Excellent. I just want to say, my lord. I'm happy to go with the witch sisters if they want to take me. I just want to go see the fire. No, as you said, your your faith is far different to ours. I know, but we I, also have sacred I fires. The fires. They are a a sight of fame throughout the empire Hagen at, will Hagen, Hagen, Hagen just looks beat up and tired and he, he nods to uh, Arl Rook and, and just makes his way back towards uh, the back of the hall that leads out to where the, uh, the flame of Ulrich is I will also uh, go so Arl Rook may I witness the flame um yes indeed yes thank you i'll bow and i'll follow the other two Imaran also bows and then does the sign of the twin tail comet and then realizes this is all rick's temple and that was probably not the right sign but it... <laughs> still a symbol leave. like that or something <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 uh, well the twin tail uh, comet is that i believe um, yeah, so you're, you're led down um, to, it's like a brazier, but it's, it's a light and the flame is quite tall. Yeah, it's quite big, isn't it? It's like in the big middle yeah, thing in the room, yeah. isn't it? You, you can mm -hmm. stand a few people around it. Um, and the the priest who, who goes down with you, he, he, you, you, you have... Um, a weapon that you want blessing at the moment Imaran's just standing mesmerised he likes fire I, uh, <laughs> what colour is the fire? fire is it like a white white to it Ooh. Um. yeah it, 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 it is sort of a very hot flame as flames go and it is yeah, well, we'll say it's white. It would, would be white, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's probably. White. White. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Imaran's just mesmerised, and you can hear Imaran talking in, in Elven, and then he's like, we have a flame like this. It's a little bit bigger. Not, no, I'm not bragging. It just, we just, uh, it's a bit bigger. Um, and it's blue. Interesting fact for you. <laughs> and Imaran just seems... Burn blue. Yes, there's some stone or some metal compounds that burn green, if I remember correctly. Uh, from That's my, true. In my, I mean, again, I've only dabbled. Um, and then you see Amaran just walking around this fire, very, very interested, and you're worried that he might try to put his hand in it at some point. <laughs> Honestly, there is, there is I'm, a... I'm almost surprised he hasn't tried it already. I know Elmarin <laughs> likes fire. <laughs> there is a large head that comes over your shoulder, um, Elmarin, as, you say, you know, as you're talking. Oh, yeah? Doubled is a word. That we're interested in. Interested in. You've is doubled it, in Edith? what exactly? Is it Edith? <laughs> yes. Oh, hi, Edith. How you doing? You're very right. big. Doubled, and I'm, you and I'm, a, I'm an elf, and I'm quite tall. Doubled, you say? Oh, dabble, Jess. It's a word you use when you've, uh, you've uh, only basically done things with things that you're not supposed to. No, I think that's a misunderstanding of the word. Dabbled means I've gently perused my way into a certain subject. I have uh, had a dabble in alchemy. That's why I understand that there are certain metals that you throw into fire and it burns green. It's very interesting. 
Sounds more like metallurgy. Well, yes, it. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to be very broad. Um, you know, show off your hand just because you're an engineer. And I like fire, Edith, but not fires that I'm put on. If that helps. Hagen is ignoring all of this, and he just yeah. approaches the priest with with hammerzite in his hands, and he goes, "This is the holy hammer, hammerzite. I would seek Ulrich's blessing for the coming battle." Okay, the, the priest walks forward, and there's like a a sort of um, what's the word? Uh, a frame next to it that she puts the your hammer on and then she shifts it over he shifts it over to the the fire <coughs> and it glows slightly when, when it's in there you can oh, oh Hagen and uh, Carolyn you, you almost see a wolf's head come out the flame and sort of bite hold of the the head of the hammer um, and it glows and then it's taken back out and given back to Hagen. Hagen puts the head of the hammer up against his forehead and, and whispers a prayer to Ulrich. And, and then thanks cries the in pain to get burned. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a magic flame. It's cold <laughs> fire. The cold fires of Ulrich. And the, uh, he turns and walks back. Sister Carolyn, have you got... Uh... Uh, yep, Carolyn will <clears throat> hold forth her axe. Again, the same thing the axe, happens. Uh, she'll she'll say that this axe was gifted to her by a priest of Ulrich to do battle with demons. Oh. A worthy weapon. And again, let's put it in. You, again, you see, or well, you you think you see the same thing. And you, you're giving it back. Myron's just currently waving his hand closer and closer to the fire, trying to work out how hot it is. Hagen looks, nah, just shakes his head. He's like, I am going to go meditate for an hour prayer to Ulrich be before we are to meet again. I need uh, moments reflection after today's events. In greater terms, you know, she says, uh, I went back to the inn, but it was all closed up. Um, have you got your your things? I, I stopped myself up in, in the guard guard house, so I'm okay. I have all all my possessions are on me. How about you, Amar and Mordek? Oh, I was equipped for battle um, purely because I thought we were going to die. Um, you, he doesn't turn and face you because he's just too busy waving his hand closer to his fire. Uh, Mord Mordek didn't go into the fire room. He's still in the adjacent um, space. That being said, if we need to go back to the inn, then we should all gather. Travel group. It's too dangerous otherwise. I thought we moved all of our stuff to Lady Nax. Oh, it's getting really we, hot. We did. We did. Yeah. That's where our friend. Not Franz is Gunter. I yep. said I remembered his name. Gunter. Yes. Gunter. Humans. They all have silly names. And the squire that's still Anders, Anders. Is having a rough time. He's probably being very well taken care of by the not just people, I'm assuming. Okay, is Edith so, still standing behind me, by the way? Yeah. What does she look like? I don't know what does she look like. Uh -huh. She's big, stocky. Um, looks That's like she could look after herself. Um, looks like she could end you. Uh, more like Brienne of Tarth type look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's probably not as um, well kept as Brienne of Tarth. Um, Any defining well, features? Well, well when she's removed her hat, you you can uh, her hair is very dishevelled. Uh, uh, her face is almost dirty. Um, you want defining features beyond being eight foot tall. 
Well, I mean, I mean, that is tall. I'm an elf. I'm very tall, but like, if she's towering she's over wa- me, she's a wallflower, Elmar. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to have your company here. And Ilmarin gets a little bit closer to the fire. He's trying to work out if he can put his hand in it without burning it entirely. She pulls you back by the scruff of your neck. I'm not as shy. You could have just asked. Why did you do that? He's looking looking over his shoulder at her still. (laughs) Well, if, if you're resting here a bit, then we can... Um, hold your inter- to, uh, interview now. What, just me and you by the fire? It's very nice. And Reenie, of course. No, we don't need Reenie, just me and you. We can sit by the fire and have an open conversation. You can tell me a bit about yourself and I can tell you a bit about me. Okay. Reenie, go, go, and get, go and get someone to get him a chair. I don't need a chair. I'll be quite comfortable sitting by the fire on the floor. Uh, no, I'm pissed the, on a chair. It's the priest that was using the flame still around. Probably. Yeah, he, he, so he, he, well, he, he, he left with um, um, Hagen, but then he's he sort of come back and stood just inside the door. Uh, I'm going to ask him if he would mind blessing my gun. If we're about to go up against the enemies of Ulrich, I need every bit of help I can get. I thought it was going to fail me recently. I'm not entirely sure if we could. Um, I could try. That would be much appreciated. I will take every advantage I can get and protection from the gods, and I will make the various signs of the... (laughs) And out of nowhere, Neil Murray goes, then you need to bless the bullets and not the gun. Isn't the bullets that hit the bad guys? Uh, I will hand him a wire wire thing of bullets as well. (laughs) Imaran has no idea how all of this works. Neither does Johan. <laughs> he's not. A, he's not a follower of Ulrich. Um, but he's I, thinking I, Ulrich if it's not help. renowned for Ulrich and followers are not renowned for their use of guns. So I have no yeah, idea. No, what I'm Ulrich not. In, could I'm not entirely comfortable with putting uh, your gun uh, in the flame. I mean, if you could just perform a normal blessing over it, that would also be appreciated. Any. Divine assistance. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I could certainly do something. Uh, I, I would appreciate that. Any, any assistance we can get from Ulrich to defeat these monsters would be useful. Carolyn will be paying attention to what he does for this blessing. It sort of kneels down. He likes a bit of incense. Puts it into a couple of little incense holders down the floor and kneels down, prays, puts his head to the floor. It takes about sort of 10 minutes, all in silence. At that point, the door opens again and in walks Whispering Reenie, and with her, uh, four, um, Four sort of militia men type people, outriders, um, and you notice that each sister has quite a bro- like a brooch on there with uh, like a, an ornate K on it, and these um, these militia men have a tabard with the same um, the same mark on it, um, and she walks over to. Edith and pulls on her and then whispers to her, Ah, uh, Elmarin, shall we? And she offers you the door. Elmarin looks very shocked because last he heard we were getting a chair and sitting down yeah. by the fire. We've got a chair. We're not sitting in front of uh, the holy flame of uh, Ulrich. Why not? It's nice and warm, well, and, also, and, then you, and also, you out... if I'm if I'm corrupted, you can just throw me straight into the fire. Job's a good one. Please don't throw me in the fire. That was a joke, I'm and I realised I probably going shouldn't to joke. Throw you in the fire. Can we go and have our conversation like you promised? Oh right, wait. Who are all these people? Uh, part of our uh, um, 
retinue. I feel slightly outnumbered. I'm not going to lie. You've made me feel very uncomfortable. We are, well, we hope we are of the same mindset. Um, and we're fighting in the same cause. We just need to ask you a few questions, like we said earlier. My dear, my people have been fighting chaos before you were walking around in furs. So, I mean, we're definitely of the same mind. But uh, anyway, let's go, because I can see you're getting anguished uh, at my talk of my elder race being around a hell of a lot longer than you. Yeah, she walks How old out are the door, you, by the way? She walks out the door, ignores you, and <laughs> she walks along the wall a little bit, and there's another door there, and she opens the door. Please, if you would. Ilmarin looks in. What does he see? Um, <laughs> Ilmarin is it, very cagey. He's trying to do as he's asked, but at the same time, he's not about to walk into a room that looks like an interrogation chamber with, like, chains on a chair. No, there's a chair in the middle of, of it with arms on it, arms on the chair, so it's an arm, like an armchair, wooden armchair. And um, that's all there is in this room. Nothing else. Nothing else. He leans in a bit further and looks around on the back walls. Still nothing else? No, nothing. Has the door got a key in it or anything? Yes, yeah, the door's got a key in it. I'm not going inside. <laughs> I'm not being locked in a room. And I was like, you sure we can't just do this? And, and I no, don't we'll really do it in like... there. I don't want to go in there. You have, you have my word. You have my word. Um... I, There's a witch hunter of uh, Sigma that I, uh, I I mean to cast no dispersions on the uh, the, the servants of the Silver Hammer, but I, I've never met you before, and quite frankly, you've got yourself, your sister, now these other people, and you're taking me into a room that has clearly a lock on it. I don't feel very comfortable about this situation. So if we leave the door open and take the key out, how about that? Is that a compromise? Is that a fair compromise? I'm not going to mess with the key to a door. It isn't my door. It's the temple's door. Well, I yes. don't like the idea of being locked in a room. You can understand that. Who said we were going to lock you in a room? Well, that's my first assumption, because there's many of you and one of if me. If you would, could you please take a seat? Oh, God, you witch hunters are so nasty. And Omarin um, goes in and sits down and just a bit of a huff about him. One of the, one of the militia... The, the retinue brings like this little um, frame in again and opens it out, opens out like a like an X frame and puts it down. And then another one brings in this large case, puts it down. And as, as, as he enters, the lock is turned in the door. Click. I knew it. Knew it. I knew you were going to lock me in. If you would, lied. Ilmarin, so, could so first of all, you, you told me to trust you. You've lied. Your word is worth nothing. You said you weren't going to lock me in a room. You've locked me in a room. I'm not happy. She opens the case up and starts going through the inside of it. Could you please sit down, Ilmarin? So, Ilmarin looks in the case. What's in the case? There's, okay, so there's there's all sorts of implements in there. There's saws. There's um, pokers. There's... Um, um, you and I, methods. Edith, are going to have a serious disagreement if you get anything out of that case and try to poke me with it. I was open to talking with you. This is not what I agreed to. Now, if we're happy, if you're happy to sit down and just talk to me and close that case, got, we can talk. I'm not talking to you with that case open with all those pokey things inside it. Imran's using his serious voice now as well. He's a high end. She pulls dip- from out a case. Um, it's it's like a you know like a, a an iron fire poker, um, and it's got like a wooden handle. And on on the end of it is it looks like there's a K on the end. Imran's hand goes straight to his sword hilt and steps take two steps backwards. And she she. <laughs> She mutters something, and the end of the K glows. <laughs> Ilmarin is not taking this lying down. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ilmarin draws his blade. She's moving very slowly and very methodically, and she sort of raises the, the poker towards you, and she says, Ilmarin, sit down. No. Could that is you my make final me, warning. Could you make me? A very difficult 
willpower roll, please, as you feel compelled to sit down. Oh, damn it. Willpower, nothing else. Just, just straight willpower. Yes. Okay, here we go. So willpower. You're muted, Roger. So I don't know what you were trying to say. Minus 30, that's pretty nasty. <laughs> Yeah, uh, difficult. Very difficult. Very hard, did you say? I'm going to use a fortune point to make that a success. Okay. It, it will still <laughs> fail, I think. No, because it gives me, it would make me a zero, won't it? And that'd be a success. Uh, yeah, but it'd still be a 19. Uh, okay, then I won't use a fortune point and I'll sit down. I don't like this okay. at all. She passes, thought, thought, she passes the poker over to Rini, who is just circling. Ilmar is still holding his sword. He's not in a very comfortable situation right now. Um, do, do the rest of us have any indication that uh, this is going on? Yeah, fuck they, these guys, man. <laughs> they, they, ju they just shut the door and, and locked it, basically. Um, there, there, there are a but couple did of we... rest of you outside. Did we see him go with the whole bunch of... Well, you would have been upstairs, wouldn't you? No, yeah, yeah so I, I wasn't there. Sorry, I, no, I, was, it, I didn't it, go into did, the, the did, fire. It did room. seem all very pleasant, yeah. Elmarin offered to sit down with her and have a chat with her and... Um, um, don't have any resilience, Roger. Yeah. Elves don't get it. Um... <laughs> that was brilliant, Roger. Uh, so she steps back and she she rolls her sleeves up. This giant of a woman. Her and size she, doesn't scare I suggest me. you take your hand off your sword. Yeah, Absolutely this will not hurt. Absolutely not. You've used a magical poker on me to make me sit down, despite my finest efforts. And uh, being an elf, our minds are not so easily bent. I just read it. A tool of interrogation. Uh, yeah, see, and this this is why we this is why me and Mordek were refusing to come and talk to you because you're treating us. Let me like talk we're to you about. Let me talk to you about emotions. It seems to me that your emotions ride high and low all the time. That's because I'm an elf. That is also a sign of a worshipper of chaos. Oh, everything's a sign of worshiping the chaos to you lot. Bloody silver hammer and your overzealous bloody nature. Mm. That's fine. Because when, uh, when my father finds out that I died by the hands of the silver hammer for no reason, no reason I care to add, you will face a serious diplomatic incident with other one. I'm not some run of the mill elf. I'm a prince, sweetie, my dear. And you have treated me with utter disrespect. And I was willing to talk to you. I'm not willing to talk to you anymore. I mean, you can see, like, Ilmarin is actually genuinely flustered. And this is, this is like an air of bravado trying to protect him at this moment in time. Before also... that, new members just close in ever so slightly to your chair. Go ahead. If it weren't for the fact that I was being compelled to sit down right now, then I would be standing up. Ilmar just got a reroll. I mean, it's not going to help me, people. Edith pulls something out from her back, and it's a, quite a nice pistol. And she uh, passes it to one of the retinue. If he moves with that sword, put one through his head. We don't want to harm him, but I need to find. I need to get questions from him. Answer, if, should I say? If he can pull the trigger fast enough. Now, how long have you known this group that you travel with? Oh, a very long time. Me and Johan go way back. Okay. In fact, um, I met Johan when he was studying to be an engineer in Altdorf. I was also in Altdorf because I uh, am the son of the ambassador to Avwan, the whole high elf homeland. Um, uh, but you just said that you were a prince and now you're the son of an ambassador. Well, yes, uh, our, our feudal system is probably very different to yours, but I'm a prince. Lies I'm... seem to slip from your tongue. No, they don't. Easily. You just don't understand high of hierarchy in society. Don't have your shortcomings Liars. be 
a lie. Oh, God, I hate talking to humans. It's so indignant. I'm, I'm getting angry for him just by listening to it. <laughs> Look, right, this is how it works. My father is the high up and head of my family. Those born under him are princes of that family. Okay, so just, just to describe high elf society and how it works to you, just so you, you can understand, just a little minute understanding of what we are. So anyway, father at the top, because he's so high up, he has been sent by the Phoenix King, that's the leader of all high elves, to come over here and represent our people. And you carry on explaining things. <laughs> the rest of you, is there anything that you wish to do before you move off to the... The, the bright sun or the really want to go and kill some witch hunters but we don't yeah, know anything about <laughs> yeah that's all Hagen wants to do at this point is to kill a bunch of witch hunters so <laughs> I'm so wound up right now I'm not if, even there if Hagen does get any indication that this is happening behind that locked door he will break it down uh, but if he doesn't know he doesn't know yep. and well, the only person who might perfect. know anything is Johan to be perfectly uh, to fair, be honest, yeah, hand was most, fixated most on of the you priest. were moved. Well, you, you moved down into the sort yep, of main yep. temple area. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I mean everything seems normal. Like I said, mm. there was good good humour between Ilmarin and. Uh, well, there was good good humour from Ilmarin. Um, Wait, when I yeah. was in, because I didn't go into the flame room. Yeah. And I was still in the main temple bit. Yeah. Did I see these other witch hunters turn up? No, 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 no. Well, you, you see the retinue, but the retinue were there. So when you come out, oh, they were already okay. there. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carolyn would like to, although she's probably not going to get very far with it, she would like to see if she can get some materials for making a less three year old, uh, three year olds, uh, Holy symbol. Okay. Uh, Maybe one that's recognisable as a symbol of all of it. You can get some bits for here. The, 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 probably the best place to ask for things would be um, Johan. Johan's magic box of bits. <laughs> yeah, but he's talking about my tools, not that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you, you guys are getting sort of things ready. And back into the room with Ilmar, and then you're still explaining about the thing that's king. So uh, that is why I'm a prince, right? If we establish that now, at least, do you understand a little bit of how high of how hierarchy works? You no, know, that's your tactic right there. Just bore her to death. <laughs> um... So the the retinue gets closer to you again. Why have they stepped closer? I've not done anything. Uh, I must admit. And they all sort of jump forward. What? You can't have an action because you're that quick. But they're sort of, they're not got weapons out or anything. They're sort of, you know, like in a prison cell, how they sort of r r rush someone. Yeah, that's yeah. what they're doing to Grab you. Grab a limb each. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to roll something and you tell me if it's good. I rolled a dodge. Um, I will you basically moving your arms around like that because you can't actually dodge from out the chair because you're stuck. You, you, you're still in the. So you, you are moving your arms about very immaturely. You know, you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, yeah. for an elf, he's like 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah to be fair, I'm 75. So for, for an elf, I'm actually exceptionally young. Yeah. <laughs> well, 12 is probably um, an exaggeration, more like 18 or something. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm essentially a, an elf equivalent of a teenager. <laughs> They, they do sort of manage to grapple your arms down and just hold them against the arms. So that's all they seem to be doing. They're not harming you. I wish you to anything. oppose them with my mighty strength. Go for it. To <laughs> be fair, last time this worked. <laughs> <laughs> you did cause some people to bounce off the door. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> I am going to use my free roll that someone gave me. I feel like this is an appropriate time. I'm not sure I'm going to allow you with it. Yeah, that's a oh, failure. I failed it's anyway. Fair. It's, it's you probably... don't deserve a reroll for that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably better than what would have happened with this, with the 100, which might have been that he'd broken his arm trying to resist that. Uh, so um, they're sort of holding you down, and one of them takes the belt off, and they, they sort of wrap your arm around the, the, the chair, and then they sort of move backwards. 
See? Are they just on one arm? No, they've done, they've done your two arms. Your two arms are like on the chair. See, again, we wish you no harm. I just need you sitting still. Uh, as you humans would say, horse shit. <laughs> I'm strapped to a chair with a magical poker that you say is not magical, but it glows on its own and it compelled me to sit down. So you're full of crap. Absolutely full I of crap. And Ilmarin starts shouting at the top of his voice. And I mean the top of his voice. And he just shouts, starts shouting the names of his companions at the top of his voice so that it can be heard everywhere. Now you start shouting. Can every make, everybody make me a very difficult perception roll, please? Oh, great. I'm the one with the best perception. I'm the one that's in here. <laughs> a very difficult yeah. perception. I think that is going to be negative. Uh, naught to five is always a pass. Okay. I believe you can. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Yeah. 29 versus a minus 6. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, witch hunters. <laughs> okay. Hagen, you're sort of getting yourself ready, and there seems to be a lot of shouting going on. Um, and just for a moment, he thought, of, was that Elmar? Could have been. Yeah. What? Well, Elmar, the so, sock is stuffed into your, your mouth. Hagen is making his way back to where he last saw Elmar. Elmar's still making lots of noise, but now it sounds like. <laughs> okay. The, she gets out these two little implements that are like a round ring with like a, a bolt that goes through it Am I and now kind of crap that, that's of that's sort of attached to your thumbs wait 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 are my legs tied um they aren't no but as he far kicks as her as he, as she comes closer i think i think they were restrained i think yeah no, they, no. They, they, they seem to be restrained against us i'm saying as a part of sitting down at the chair you're sort of yeah, you're sort of fixed there. Your arms were free, but that's it. This witch hell, uh, I better hope I never get out of this chair because if I do, I'm going to run her through. Okay, so yeah, and she she pulls out this sort of spanner thing and she starts tightening it down onto your uh, thumbs. Th th this bolt and it starts to tighten into your thumbnails and hurts quite a lot. Now, obviously, I scream in anguish very loudly. I do hope Hagen's close. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so, so as Hagen goes back up, yeah. What what does he, what does he see? Um, you just notice that there's a couple of uh, the, the rats and you sort of outside of a room. They're talking to each other. Uh, you can't see anything of Ilmara and the witch finders uh, or, or anything like that. Where is my companion, Ilmarin? Um, I heard I heard him calling my name. Where is he? He's probably screaming at this exact moment if she's tightening those things down on anything. You, you, you're, you, you, the, the, there is a muffled scream, but it is quite a thick door. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Um, the more that you scream, the more they're tightened as well, which makes me scream more. Hagen. Hagen, feeling uncomfortable about this situation, again talks. It says, "Where is the elf Elmarin?" Uh, he went to answer some questions with uh, the Craven sisters, with the witness that was promised, R. Ulrich. Uh, he went of his own accord. Where is he? Um, they went down to the bottom. Well, he sort of points. Then why then are you guarding this door in the temple of all? We're, we're not guarding it. We're, we're, we're talking. Then stand aside. Okay. Stand and then aside. Hagen, Hagen calls out, More deck! <laughs> <laughs> and I go up, he goes up to the door to open it. It's locked. This door is locked. He pounds on the door. Open this door in the name of Ulrich. And it's opened, and the, the witch 
finder, the, the big tall Edith, the witch finder stood there. Yes, can I help you? No, you cannot. Where is Elmarin? I imagine you can. Questions. I imagine you can hear him like screaming now. <laughs> so he look. Hagen looks past at that chair. Yeah, he, he's he's uh, he's tied to a chair, uh, and there's you know you notice that there's a couple of things onto his thumbs. <laughs> I don't make this sound innocent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You've tied me to a chair. Don't You're torturing you do. me. <laughs> and Under which finder? Something you do him. notice is the, 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 the crumpled up one, the one who's a little bit punched and has a, a few things wrong. She is stood behind him stroking his head. I mean, I do have you aware. Which finder this was not was agreed to with our Ulrich. He was to be here indeed, as a witness. Indeed, indeed. And I, I uh, release my a friend now, well, or you we can stand will here come as a witness. No, you will release him. You are not going to torture More to keep this him cool elf for. who has fought at my side across battlefields against green skins and everything else in this heaven in Ulrich's temple release him or you will meet the hammer regardless of the consequences hmm. you speak uh, of one who has the taint of corn I care not how you want to phrase this witch hunter you spoke false in the temple of Ulrich and as a Templar of Ulrich. As I sp- said, Ilmarin asked to come and speak to me. Perhaps you would care to remove that gag so I can verify that? Because right now, the only people I trust in this city are the people she who She signals stood over to uh, one of the militia, and they, uh, one of the retinue, should I say, and he pulls this suck from out of Ilmarin's mouth. Ilmarin, did, did you that was volunteer? Disgusting. What did you put in my mouth? You filthy, filthy people, damn it. Um, Hagen, no, I did not. I agreed to sit down to have a nice chat inside the a sacred fire, and then they put me in this chair, and then they used some magical thing on me to make me sit down, and then they've tortured me. Look at my thumbs. Look at them. It takes me weeks to get my nails to look that good. Did we weeks. force you to sit there? Did we actually force you to walk into this room? Yes, you did. You didn't really give me many choices. Four of you, five of you, six of you. I can't point because my thumbs are currently tied down. <laughs> you, I was given no option. I was quite happy to sit in the pool of the sacred fire and have a nice conversation with you, Edith. You've, and you told me to trust you. You said to me you wouldn't lock me in this room and you locked me in this room. You have broken every word you've given to us so far. Ow, Mordek, someone has shouted your name and you believe it to be Hagen. I will leg it up the stairs. <laughs> as fast as, as a dwarf can run. <laughs> Very dangerous. Hagen distances. stood outside of a, a doorway and he's talking to the large witch finder and the, there's two rushing you there. I'll be barging past Hagen. Mordek, free Elmarin. We're done here. We no, will I... free him. You will not take a step inside. I'm stepping inside. Yeah. If I Higgins. see Elmiron tied up, I'm stepping inside. Okay. Initiative, please. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going last? <laughs> All righty. I don't know. In my defense, this is not my fault. No, no, it's not. Yeah. No. Uh, technically, it's nobody's fault other than the witch hunters. For once, we have not got ourselves into this. Uh, Hagen's own initiative is 46. Okay. So, you go to push in, and a big hand moves quite swiftly from a middle, and she just shoves you back, or tries to. So, let me get my... Yeah, you're given quite a shove backwards. And she says, we will release him. And release him now. Release him. And yeah, yeah, you, you, you sort of stagger back 
This is the strength from this witch finder is all, almost comparable to the ogre that you fought and chopped a bit of his body off. And your the thumb screws are released, which causes more pain. Elmarin. Ah, everybody's gone quiet. Can everybody hear me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we got yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, Deck, uh, Ilmarin tries not to let out a cry of pain this time because Mordek's yeah. here and he doesn't want to look weak in front of Mordek. <laughs> so he's like, <clears throat> let's ha- let's have a willpower roll from uh, <laughs> Ilmarin. <laughs> Does he scream or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got to be a it's got to be a difficult one as well because they have been screwed <laughs> down quite a lot. Yeah, that's fair. I agree. No, he screams. <laughs> <laughs> he's not doing great with rolls tonight. <laughs> okay, so. If Ilmarin screams in pain, yeah. because Mordek wasn't here really for the whole of this conversation, it's quite obvious he's been tortured. Um, that's pretty out of order. I'm going to attack her. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Crap on a stick. <laughs> They've been so, torturing him and he's screaming in pain. Make, make a roll. Um... I will try this to see if it works. It was a warning shot. Ah, now the that. Uh, well, it's still got to be opposed. So yeah, because um, it's whoever. If oh, you do. Worse. You do have a reroll, Mordek. Yeah, I'm. Good. I was just checking that. Eldaf give you one. Richard did. So much for allies. Okay, she she sort of pulled this stuff from the side of the. Rather than draw a sword, she she grabs a a stuff from the, the side of the doorway from inside the door, and she sort of blocks your. Uh, attack. I think since I've Mordek said I'm is... releasing him and I'm releasing him. That's the only chance you're going to get now. Hagen puts his hand on Mordek's shoulder. Let them release him and we will take him out of this room. And if they try to stop us, well, then Ulrich will decide their fate. Okay, uh, your arms are released and you suddenly get the use of your Back, sides, and legs back. Oh, the Imara starts stretching as Mordek suddenly disappears. Uh, It's because, yeah, yeah, and and he stands up. Where's the red hot pokey thing right now? Who's got that? Uh, Rini has it. What, the little one? Yeah. Who was stroking my hair? You've got a good, you've got one of these right on you either side of you, and they lead you out of the room. Okay. Um, yeah. <clears throat> well, e- you will uh, answer questions. Uh, no, which finder, Edith? I'd like to say it was a pleasure. Sorry, okay. <laughs> it's all right. And uh, which finder, yeah. Edith? I'd like to say it was a pleasure. It absolutely was not. Um, I was quite happy to talk to you. Torturing, however, is a step too far. I will answer no further questions from you. You and I will never have a discussion again. And if you come within ten feet of me, that's and then Imar marks out. I will automatically engage you. And there will be no friendly conversation. So stay out of my way in future. And Ilmarin leaves in a very, very angry. Probably the angriest you've ever seen Ilmarin. And we've seen some pretty crazy shit. <laughs> you do try and stomp off, but y- your thumbs are quite hurting a lot. And you almost feel weak at the knees with um, what you've just gone through, you know, with, with this magic and, and that. So, yeah, you, you are very angry. But as you, as you sort of turn your back to them and sort of storm off, you think you're thinking, know, hold it together, hold it together. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Hagen, wait till him out of sight to fall over. Hagen does not turn around, but he does face the witch hunters and he says, Cowards use torture, particularly on friends. You may be. Cowards, cowards also use chaos as well and worship chaos. That's true. You, and since you're I'm, the only I'm coward I called, see I'm, here, I am happy to be called a coward when I know I'm doing the best for the Empire. 
as we are doing the best for the empire, and yet you would attack allies on the de- on the moment before battle. You disgust me. And he turns and walks away. You will speak to none of my companions alone again, coward. We shall see. We shall indeed. Mm-hmm. Ordex just going to spit her feet and then storm off as well. <laughs> I've heard yeah, just blissfully about cleaning the pistol. Well. <laughs> Hagen. What you've heard stopped concerning me the moment you decided to torture a voluntary subject. Mm. Yes. Well, we'll meet again, don't worry. It'll be an interesting day that day we do meet again. You had better bring more than this small retinue with you if you plan to try to take one of my friends again like that. And our Ulrich will hear of this. That I guarantee. As I said, he entered the room and he sat down under his own accord. Am I too far away to hear this conversation? He, he's, he's got the fuck out. He's not sticking around. I mean, he, he stays at the top of the stairs just in case he hears the clang of steel, but he's far enough away that he can't actually hear conversation. One thing I will guarantee, because I know Elmarin quite well, he did not volunteer to have his arms tied to a chair and thumb screws placed upon his thumbs to the point where screams of agony could be heard through the door. Pain is a great uh, equaliser. It is a great unmasker as well. Perhaps we'll put you to the pain. If you wish to learn any techniques, come and I I will show you anytime. No, no torturer. Stay in your cellar, in your coward's hole behind your men, and let true warriors fight against chaos. And with that, he stops talking, turns and walks away. That was Not less bloody fault. than I that that was less bloody than I was worried it was gonna get, I have to say. You and me both. <laughs> okay. The rest of the time in the temple goes without a hitch or incident. <laughs> the the witch finders you don't really see them moving around. Uh, they keep, keep themselves out of the way. They want to. And Myron wasn't joking about his threat. <laughs> and uh, Hagen does fully report the incident. Okay. You and report Myron. it to Ars Ulrich, and Ars Ulrich, he, he is very sort of sympathetic to your cause, but he does suggest that your friends... Um, Maybe hold their tongue a little bit in future. Yeah, whilst talking to people, you know, some of the things that were saying were close to the bone in in, in upsetting me, Hagen. Now, I understand so, that, my lord, but these witch finders were torturing a- an ally of Ulrich in the temple of Ulrich. That that is detestable. With, with all with all due respect, Hagen. I, I could, you, you know, we, we call each other friends now, but you don't know me, you know. I could be, you could be a follower of uh, of a corrupted one. You know, we, we, we live in a bad time and a time of fire, um, a time of pain. And unfortunately, we need people like that who are willing to do the things that none of us would want to do. Perhaps, but we make ourselves weaker when we strike out against our allies, particularly those allies who fought for months against what has happened here, even when we had no allies. Elmarin and Mordek stood true against everything that's been thrown at us from Ubersreich to the streets of Middenheim. They did well, not I, deserve I, I this. Take, I take your word for that as a night, a night uh, you know, and... I get that, but you know they—they they have their ways, and their ways are my own ways. 
you know, I don't make no apologies for the ways that they uh, they use. Understood. Any, are we uh, ready to move out? Aye, sir. Um, Ray Mort has reported back with his uh, son uh, he has with him. Uh, uh, he says that he, he's ready to move to uh, get you through into uh, the, this bright sun um, inn. Um, would an average citizen of the Empire think that a witch hunter is a type of priest? Uh, good question. Um, because they are known as the Templars of Sigmar. Yeah, but so... Everybody knows like, who the, the witch hunters like are. Yeah, no, I know people it? are afraid of yeah. them. I'm just wondering if they're... It, people yeah, they're, they're, they're the holy priests. men of Sigmar, basically. Holy men and women of Sigmar. And they're okay. part of some extreme cult within the Sigmarian faith. Okay, at some point I would actually have sought them out. Sold them out? Sought them out. Oh, yeah. I'd like to go and talk to them. Okay. What, during uh, this time now? Or? Uh, yeah, kind of in the, while we were waiting. Okay, yeah. But, well, I yeah, don't know but, anything that happened, so I'm just going to go and have yeah, a so, You definitely yeah, would have been informed about what happened. Yeah. <laughs> if we had all reconvened. You find them in, in the main room where they first met you, and they're the, the sat in there mm. eating food. Uh, some of the retinue are in there. Uh, good day. Uh, if I may be so bold, I would like a blessing before we go into battle against the enemies of Sigmar. Uh, indeed. Uh, she asks you to kneel, and Rini sort of waddles over and she's mumbling something that you can't really hear on. She, she sort of moves around you and she sits in front of you and prays and then yeah, she gets back up and yeah. go in the name of Sigmar. Thank you. May he give okay. us strength and I'll make the sign of the twin tail yeah. comet. Uh, and that's given back to you as well. You you do almost feel empowered, but nothing, nothing. Um, I don't know. I'm just game changing. Yeah, you, you you feel you feel like you you carry um, the shield shielding of Sigma with you. Does Ilmar and see hey, uh, Johan go in and out? In no, this? no, he, he seems to have disappeared off and. That's back good because this would this would strain their friendship. <laughs> I didn't see they, it, so our friendship isn't strained. They, they do give him a sticker saying, "I've <laughs> been a good, <laughs> I've been a good Sigmarite." Yeah, I've been a wonder for the witch hunter. <laughs> it's got a little hammer on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got more bottle than the elf. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Ray Morton, Carl, um, are, are you ready to move out? Aye, we're ready. And you move through the streets with this quite, you reckon there's probably about 150 uh, individuals in, in this group that you've got all together. They're moving through. Arzorix with them. Um, Marit seems to be taking command uh, of the, the the bigger group. Um, and yeah, you 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 wander through. Well, they're, they're not wandering; they're marching to a manner. Yeah, they're they're not professional soldiers by any means. Um, but you move through and until you get quite near to the area, and then you sort of skulk off into the darkness as any corrupt group would do. <laughs> I was literally about to ask, where are the witch hunters in all of this? Um, they're Ilmarin the is keeping a very keen yeah, eye they're on at them. The front, they're at the front of the big group on horseback. Well, one of them is on horseback and the other one, um, there's like, it's hard to say, but it, it is like a cart, but it's, it's fixed to the side of the horse. And it has wheels on it, so it's all like most like a, 
a motorbike and sidecar, but it's a horse with a side cart. Yeah, it's amazing. And, Rini sits in in the in the side. Hell of a horse. I mean, yeah, and it, it is. It's like a horse. big sky horse. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, do we, do yeah. any of them see me looking at them? Uh, they're just looking forward. Yeah, you know. oh, that's good. That's fine. Don't see me eyeballing them. No, they, they have they have no um, interest in. Uh, yeah, their their the, their interest is in what's in front. Rather than... Can I? As we're kind of either moving along or yeah. just before, Mordek is going to ask Ilmarin and say, hey, up. no one would blame you if you didn't want to follow this through any longer after what they did. Well, Mordek... What do you want to do? I appreciate the sentiment. However, I gave Hagen my word that I would see this through. And I am a man of my word. Unlike those flipping, and he uses some elf curvish cur- 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 curse words, some real nasty, they're really el- elven and really nasty sounding. <laughs> hey, up then, we'll we'll see it through. In in the terms of your people, Wazooks. <laughs> Wazooks. Hagen, Hagen looks over at Elmar, and, and you can see he's he's shattered by this experience. He's like Elmar, and I could never beg your forgiveness enough for allowing you to fall into their hands. It's not your fault. I genuinely thought we were having a nice conversation by the fire and I felt that I could disparage their disparage their fears of who we were by having a quick conversation. As soon as I saw the chair, I knew something was up and I refused to go in. But when you're surrounded by four people plus two witch hunters and I'm guessing those other people were close to witch hunters or friends of the witch hunters I was outnumbered and again felt like I could sit down but they tried to twist every single word that came out of my mouth they, they only had their eyes as guilt for me uh, there was uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful you arrived when you did uh, I was genuinely fearful for my life and there are many ways I'd like to die in a chair with screws through my fingers is not one of them well, know this, you'll always have my hammer, regardless of whether or not I have to tear the wolf from my back or not. No one will take a friend from me again. I thank yeah, you, uh, and that's if, why I see this through the end. If we could, yeah, we're near the building now. We're going to enter through the back. Um, we'll kick through the back doors, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll enter that way. Mordek's good with doors. And Cavalin will look curiously at that statement because she wasn't there for either of the incidents with Mordek and Adore. Um, yeah, you see Carl, the younger of the two halflings, uh, go in front and he starts working on the door and literally within seconds, the door is ajar. And he signals you all to follow. As Omar goes past, he pats him on the shoulder and goes, you have incredible skills. Such dexterity of fingers. So you're led into what what is like a, a workshop um, with lots of leather garments, um, leather hoods, leather masks, um, leather trues, leather jerkins, leather van braces. Or, yeah, everything you can think of that could be made in leather it is in here. Um, and then over by a door, he opens again, and it's a door with some stairs that go down, and he starts to descend down the stairs and signals you over. Hagen hey, will follow him down the stairs. And yeah, you're led I mean, down into this. It, the, the, the cellar is lit already with lanterns around. So the humans and monks you can eventually see. And there is um, two more halflings already in there and they've been working on the wall and they've managed to dislodge two of the stones already in the wall. Do you need a hand, my friends, um, with the brickwork? Yes, if, if you could. Aye. In grade, or she offers a, a hand towards this as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Between between uh, the uh, six of you and the halflings, you, you get enough stones out of the wall where you can pass through. Okay, and uh, the the halflings stay in the cellar in uh, in the leatherworking uh, building. This is we'll wait here for you. Hey, it all goes to hell. Make your way away. I would hate for anything to happen to you. As we pass into the cellar of the inn. Uh, do we see anything, or more particularly, does Elmarn and Mordek see anything with their superior vision? Um, it's just big barrels of booze. Um, there seems to be a pile of dead bodies, probably about six that have been literally dragged to one side. There's smeared blood on the floor where they've been dragged down the stairs of the cellar and sort of dumped out the way. Is there anything defining on these? Are they, are they like the nobles from the meeting or are they just like general citizens that have been ritually look, murdered? Yeah, they look like general citizens. Possibly staff. Possibly the people that worked here. Okay. And and I assume they've got markings of ritual murder rather than just straight up killing. Throats cut. And Ilmarin relay, relays that to the group. And is it still lit here or is it now dark? It's dark in this this area. You can bring a couple of lanterns through from the leatherworking place. I mean, I've I've got one, but if we're trying to be quiet, I'll lay a hand on Mordek's shoulder and just basically quietly relay to him that I'm letting him guide me. Ilmarin's doing the Although, same for Hagen and Carolyn. Okay. I'm guessing so, we're looking for a staircase. We, yeah, there is a staircase. It is quite an obvious staircase. It's, did it's one not... of our helmets let someone see in the dark as well as do that language translation? No, it's no. languages, I think. It was just languages. Okay. I thought we had do you have a plan, or are you just going to go up the stairs and kick ass? I mean, we don't know what we're expecting up there, so I imagine we're probably... Is, does it look like there's like a door at the top? Like, is it dark? or is it? And... Yeah, there's a door. As you might imagine, with Hagen in plate armor, uh, he is not clank, particularly clank, stealthy. Clank, clank. <laughs> so, Imarin offers to go up the stairs and peer through the crack in the door. He's got superior eyesight, and he's probably the most stealthy of the group. Yeah, not if he's leading Hagen and Carolyn. <laughs> well, no, no, he's, we'll, he's we'll off, the yeah, he's offering to leave them at the bottom of the stairs and just yeah, yeah, yeah. quietly go up the you, stairs. You can okay. go do that. Or attempt to go quietly up the stairs, I might add. I well, you gonna... keep seeing something out the corner of your eye and you sort of keep spinning around and there's nothing there, but you swear that something's following you. Hey, me? No, um, uh, Johan. Ah. In fact, it's getting you quite paranoid. Uh, I'm just quietly saying casually to Mordek, who's right in front of me, I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> Does Mordek see anything in the dark? No. There'd be nothing there, lad. Just keep your eyes peeled. Imarin slowly makes his way up the stairs. Would you like me to roll anything? So you hear some chattering um, coming from the room that is directly behind the door that you are any of the voices voices I recognise? Um, not particular, no, no. Can okay, is that is a door ajar at all, or is it closed, closed? No, it's closed, closed. Can I attempt to stealthily crack it open a little bit? Okay. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't. I've had terrible rolls the rest of the night. Should I do one, right? Oh, fuck no, right apparently not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to use a fortune point because I don't want to kind of alert them that we're here. Oh, just bear with me and re roll that. <sighs> come on, dice. Bear with Come on. Oh, my God. 
So I accidentally so, throw the door open. <laughs> you basically what, what what you do is you you, you get it. And you impressively you feel, throw you the feel door your open. hand slip. Yeah. So you sort of stand back a little bit and you get yourself and you calm yourself down. You focus and you grab hold of the handle again. But what must have happened first time is when you sort of let go, it must have opened slightly. So as you touch your hand again, the door slides open and you, you end up sort of falling through the door. because my thumbs really hurt, all right? Well, yeah, it can't be absolutely, helped. Absolutely. My absolutely. thumbs really hurt. I couldn't yeah, quite get a yeah. proper grip on it. And so you, I fall fall, through the door. you fall through the door onto the floor. And I've got my hood up, by the way. I'm, I'm trying to look scary and menacing. I stand okay. up. You, you sort of look up into the bar area. It's all well lit in there. And there's like a coffin um, in the middle of the bar area on a table. And there are two men that are behind the bar that you can see, that you recognise, that look very similar, almost identical in looks to the guy who Hagen smashed his head in. Um, outside the uh, Temple of Ulrich. And uh, they're sort of talking to a woman who looks like a barmaid. And then there's two guards who have turned around and are, are quite close to you and they've sort of turned around and seen you there. In one of his best Batman voice pulling his hood down, what are you doing, you maggots? Can, can the rest of us, and by the rest of us, I mean what Hagen, doing, be making his way up the stairs? Just yeah, cause... I mean, that's probably see me full. Uh, I mean, yeah. has this let light into the room? Can we see? You now? You do watch this master of stealth. Uh, Swear to me. Yeah, move silently without without a sound up the stairs. And you see him sort of go old, and then he sort of, you know, he don't trust his, his self at the door, and then sort of focuses again and he sort of grabs on, he leans into it this time as if to offer just a little bit of resistance there. So when he clicks it, it opens nice and smooth and he literally goes bang <laughs> through the door and the door sort of slams open and, and back again. Hagen looks back. I guess that's our cue. <laughs> so, yes. So mechanically, what I would like go, go, go. to know is <laughs> your uh, initiatives. So, <laughs> top of the shop, Hill Marin. Uh, 48? 47, sorry. 47. Oh, lying. The witch, witch hunter said that you was a liar. Um, filthy, filthy elf. That's yeah, what but, it is. We'll, so we'll go along Hill the Marin of being a liar, not Dan. <laughs> Mordak? Funny. 20. You swift bastard. <laughs> um... <laughs> This has always been the case. <laughs> uh, Colin? Uh, Carly, 24. Carolyn McKay, 24. Johan? Uh, 42. Oh, Johan, 42. And last but not least, wielder of the hammer himself. Hey, 46. Oh, it's close. It's close. It's close. <laughs> Because I've got no way of improving mine. It's just outrageous. <laughs> Forget about weapons of mass destruction. It's all about speed. <laughs> I hope for both. Let me have a look at when they move. Uh, hey, it's what you do with it, I can't. Indeed. It's all about the hammer. Um, it's funny. It's what I call my gun. <laughs> it's funny. It's what your man calls uh, something else. <laughs> <laughs> and it all goes Doctor Horrible. Losing <laughs> great. Right. Um, last but not least, I'm pair of fuckers. Whatever. Now the question is. Out of all of these, Ooh. is the barmaid the most terrifying combatant in the room? Most likely. Okay. Right, the order is Ilmarin, Hagen, Johan, and then the rest of them, then Carolyn and Mordek. 
Okay. So, first of all, let's have a little yeah, bit of that order. Sounds let's, right. let's get into the combat. It's fine. Sort of they'll, they'll all so, shout into the combat, the and then the we'll stairs. get to do something. Who is going up? Well, I uh, suppose it'd be the next fastest mover. Hagen is at the front, yes? Yep, yep. Um, and then Johan, I presume. Are you going upstairs, yeah? Oh, yeah. And then I've already got a pistol in hand. Carolyn, then Mordek, heading up the back. Is that right, yeah? Okay. Okay. I so, all at the same time. I doubt those stairs Ilmarin, Yes. You're on the floor, but I'm not going to count you as prone because we've just dramatised it up a little bit. So what would you like to do? Am I you, know, you, look, feet? you look sort of backwards to try and style it out as if you're like going to get up and sort of... <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> your friends are right behind you almost. Ilmarin tries to make it look like a roll. Okay. And then he's like, in his best... Like Batman advice. What are you doing, so, you maggots? If I was an assassin, you'd all be dead. Now, I'm Ilmarin, servant of Maglif. Have you seen what's going on outside? There's a militia coming. Get moving. And he's going to use cat tongue to try and lie to them. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Uh, so I need to do a charm roll. So just bear with me. Charm is 63. If I fail this, I'm going home. I'm already home, but I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> Just about. They have to believe me. They now believe I'm a servant of Maglif and there's a militia coming in and they need to go deal with it. So the two that are close to you look confused and are sort of checking you out. Yeah? Hagen, over to you. You get to the top of the stairs. You get there just as Elmarin begins to talk like Batman and <laughs> he, he, he's, he's pull it, trying to pull off this ruse with them and are you going to let him try the ruse or are you going to oh yeah yeah Hagen yeah. Hagen has seen him do the song and dance before so Hagen okay. stops behind him and he defers and he goes my lord the cellar is secure I'm sure they'll believe the night of the white wolf <laughs> yeah <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> yeah Hagen does step it, out it's, it's yeah. all about how you believe it he almost looks pleased with himself Hagen does as though he's going to do something a little bit different yeah <laughs> And he sort of plays the part of your henchman to a T, apart from the clothes that he's wearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that he's holding this big holy hammer. Yeah. <laughs> that, and that they might be a good up. thing that I'm further down the stairs because I think okay. probably lying about our affiliation is, is not over really to the most a... diplomatic member of the party, Johan. What are you doing? Uh, so, yeah, so I get to the top of the stairs. I'll... So the guy. That Hagen fought is over on the bar, right? The guy, guys who look like Hagen fought, as you get to the top, you see, you can sort of see the top half of them, and the, the, there's a woman in between them. But so, is that literally the one that Hagen fought? No, right, or no, it looks no. like okay. He turned into a monster, remember? But they've kind of got all of the same kind of. Yeah, you recognise them, in fact. They've been etched in your brain since you had that meat dang, dang, on that dang. first rainy <laughs> night. Oh, uh, well, I think tolerance might be at about an end here. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <Bang. laughs> Ever notice how you come across somebody once in a while you shouldn't have messed with? That's us. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I love how <laughs> Ilmar and Hagen were trying to reduce the number of enemies we were fighting. Your hand just goes, yeah. <laughs> Hagen whispers down to Elmarin. Johan it it was a good re- idea. <laughs> Johan is trying to reduce the number of enemies you're fighting. <laughs> That's true. And with a okay, yeah, so um, one of the ones I recognise, I shoot. Okay. That's the one yeah. I shot. Okay. Nice. Uh, yes, that does some damage, I believe. And I'm actually going to use a fortune point to add another success level to make it 16 okay. damage. Showing off, bastard. <laughs> um, For more, okay. bam. So where did you hit? You hit in the left. Oh. Um, okay, so that's 16 damage. What do they look like? And it is uh, penetrating, so it does ignore some of the armour if they're wearing How armor. much armour yeah. does it ignore? Uh, anything not metal. Oh, okay. I believe. Yeah, and doesn't it go through a certain amount of metal as well? Uh, I'm just 
checking. I should remember this by now, but I keep forgetting. Oh yeah, so it ignores all non-metal armor and the first point of other armor. Okay, right. So uh, ignores one, two, six. And they also need to take a cool test if they don't die. Okay. I'd be surprised if they died from sixteen damage. They yeah, don't need to make the cool test. These two behind the bar, because they're not human. Funnily okay. enough, they are inured to such mere, <laughs> mere terrors as black powder weapons. Okay, so you hit him in in the arm, and he sort of goes back a little bit, and then they all move. So, um, the two from behind the bar sort of leap over the bar and sort of come towards you at the, uh, uh, to, to sort of make a standoff with you or attack you, should I say. And the guards that were next to the um, uh, coffin also come across as well. So the two people at the front will be Ilmarin and uh, Hayden. Hayden. So they will be the targets of them. So. Time to dance, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're going to pull out your loot and start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Screw the loot. Get on the piano. <laughs> right, so I've got Thomas. I now need to invent Ilmar in a little pia tiny little piano. <laughs> One and then Okay. So there you go. There you go. Okay. I'm ready to die. This is going to be okay. If they're as tough as the guy I fought, we're in a serious yep. trouble. Right. Okay. So they're both carrying weapons of uh, choice, but they don't look as nasty as the one that for Hagen. Thank God. Are they trying to wield halberds in a small inn space? Yeah. I mean, not. Really? You know it's, not really a, it's not really a small inn space. Yeah, it? but it's going to be beams and stuff coming down. Yeah, Hagen's trying to wield the sledge, ha- trying things. to wield yeah. the two handed hammer. Yeah, yeah but they're normally uh, only a lot, e- a lot easier than you'd think inside. Yeah. 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 Crowd control weapons from inside. Halberds, though. Yeah, they're, they're good for stabbing. Slash. Oh. oh, crap baskets. Who was that to? <laughs> Wow. Uh, so, will odds it's um, Hagen evens it's Ilmarin? Aren't you glad you got your armor repaired, Hagen? I told you. Yep. You can block it, Hagen. I believe. Go on, you. Hagen. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try. Only plus seven. All I have to do is. Get a critical hit. It's just, it's just on a one. Nope. Do you have a reroll? Uh, uh, it's got four fortune points left, I'd imagine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I'll fortune points. Don't that. forget your fate points as well, guys. Yeah. What does fate, fate do again? Uh, you can use it. How did that miss? But you burn it permanently. Okay, so it only took two damage off it. I will sacrifice a point of armor on my right leg to negate the critical hit. Okay, I'm going to see what the critical was. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good. Oh, call. yeah. One sleeping <laughs> one. Broken bone major. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. And with four more wounds. And Ouch. four more wounds. Which... And the other one comes steaming in and he swings at. Reduce your uh, move by half. Permanently. Uh, Hagen's just been given two rerolls. Oof. Was that Ilmarin? Yes, that's Ilmarin. And oh, you dodge. <laughs> and the other two are sort of hanging back, guarding the the um, the coffin. There's only so much they, the, only so many people you surely can get into one fight in this kind of. Okay, Carolyn, there's enough room for you to get into the room and enter the, the fight. 
Johan's just like um, I'm back actually a bit with this not gun. going to. I'm I'm going to try and move such that um, such Mordek. that Mordek can get past me. She is okay. not going to move up and engage in melee. She is instead okay. going to do the the. She's going to try something different. She is, she's is, she's been the priestly priest. Okay. She is going to invoke Ulrich's blessing and attempt to place a blessing of battle upon um, upon Hagen and anyone else who she can get, depending on if she gets enough success levels. If we she just, passes. Can we just have a moment of silence for the first magic that has been cast since Kevin blew himself up from every other <laughs> That's actually not true because I have used I have used blessings before. Well, yes, yes, but not in such a situation. Not in this kind of situation. No. Okay. Also, none Go of yours have been quite so dramatic as exploding with blood. <laughs> Just a straight success. So for the next six rounds, Hagen gets plus ten weapon skill. Thank you. Kindly. As if Hagen needs that. I, as That's... if he needs that. <laughs> <laughs> Given that he, he just got that. skewered, I think he might. He does need that, yes. <laughs> if he hadn't just been skewered, I might have gone with Ilmarin first. And then, uh, and then roll it over. If you get to uh, every two success just got some levels, advantage for extra, dancing. I could give extra so, success. Uh, more extra deck. targets, but what is they doing? Um, hey up, hey up! I'll be charging the closest thing I can get my hands on. Okay, so that's these two. <laughs> that's these two bleeders who fed you human uh, flesh in the first session. There you are. Come on, somebody's um, got to get a crit other than Jim in the last two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I think it's the impaled quality Oof. makes it easier oh, nice. for them to crit. Oof. Oh, yeah, definitely. Does. Oh, more deck. It's a good hit, right. though. Good hit. That is a good hit. hit. Do you so, get an extra point of damage on top of that as well? Yeah, so hold your horses a second. I get an extra point of damage for using my bearded axe. Now, what I was yes. hoping would happen automatically through Foundry was that the talents I just bought um were dual wielder dual wielder and ambidex okay um and dual wielder that would uh, make that a two well roger correct me if i'm wrong um dual wielder if the first strike hits once it's resolved the weapon in your secondary hand can then yeah, target an available the roll. yeah which would so be 20 is an incredibly good hit so but wow. that would be, it, it would be at minus 20 the second hit but because i've taken ambidex it's minus, 10. A, it's minus 10, so it's 12. Okay. Let 12. me see if I block it first. 12. Oh, no, oh. it doesn't. So he takes 14 from that blow, and then... You got a 12, so he gets to defend against again against the 12. Which would be plus see. 6? Is that yeah. plus, would that be plus 6? Plus 6. I'm not following why it's a twelve. Oh, follows it up with because a ninety-four. I flip it. It flips the roll, so it was oh, a. It roll becomes roll a two, but then it gets plus ten. Ten because I've got ampidex rather than minus. Oh right. 20. So, okay. Yeah, I was. Okay, fine. Yeah, that that makes sense. I was. I was going. It's a two, yeah. and then it's a two versus sixty. But yeah. yeah. So difference. that's another. Same that's difference. another fifth. Fifteen. Another fifteen points of damage. So, so in total, so he takes twenty-nine. 29. Flip it. Yeah. Back. So he does he get does... twice the soak and armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He does still. get... Ow. The first one did 13. Sorry, the second one did 13. Or the first one? first one did 14, because you got minus 14. one. Uh, 15. Yeah. Because of 14. Oh, yeah, because 15, because he gets plus one for his axe. 15 well, and then 16. <laughs> 15 and 16, yeah. I'm glad so, I wasn't yeah. in Mordek's way. It would have been, uh, it remember, would have been he does get the plus one damage on the okay. second attack. You stuff this axe. Oh, into yeah, so 15 and, and 15. It'd 15 be 15 and 15. 15. And 15. It makes it okay. easier for you to soak them. Yeah. That was so brutal. Here's the question. I don't want to take the mic, but then do you just still get the one advantage, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, both both hits have to hit. If they do, you get one advantage. If only yeah. one of the so, two hits hit, you get no advantage. Ah, so that's yeah, interesting. So, so it's harder for me to gain advantage if I'm using correct. two. 
I like it. Okay, now that makes it. Oh, apparently I've given myself okay. to advantage. So there we go. It's back. It's back to the top. Ilmari. Um, so, so what <clears throat> happened to this guy taking two massive blows? Yeah, he's took them. I, mean, I told you that that guy I fought last time was they're, a monster. They are wearing armor. They are, you know, they're they're, they're quite mm. armored out, and they're quite bulky people as well. I mean, yeah, I mean, Ilmarin's just fighting for his life at this point, right? Because again, he finds himself in a combat that, which is where he really shouldn't be. But we'll try and fight. <laughs> yeah, but they've got really good skills, so I'm not. Yeah. Okay, he tries to block. Oh, so you hit. I hit eleven. Cool. Shocking rolls. Shocking, shocking rolls. That's your one and two. Yeah, I don't have any special weapons or anything like that. My big, big sword. I still don't know how to use. Eleven. Okay. Right. But you do gain advantage. I do. Um, Hagen. Well, Hagen will, uh, feeling infused by the blessing of Ulrich, swing uh, Hammer's Eye. Oh, Hammer's Eye. Don't forget to add your plus 10 from Carolyn if you haven't already. I okay. think he did. Yeah. Cool. Because he doesn't actually, because, yeah, he doesn't have an advantage at the moment. <gasps> Didn't oh. have an advantage. <laughs> yes. So 23 points of damage. Oh, yes. and mo torn muscle. Okay. And it's negative 10 to all uh, tests involving the leg. Do I reroll? No, I'm going to be a... I'm going to be a... And half movement. Generous. I'm going to be a generous... Uh, so, he don't, falls... Don't, don't lie, Jim. You're saving it for later when you really need it. I <laughs> know oh, the, the, the Volga, the, the, these are the major protagonists, aren't they? So they, they <laughs> You've only got like 10 minutes are... left of the game. Okay. So, so yeah... Yeah, so so yeah, with, with the with the um, the goading of the dwarf. No, we're not going to re-roll. I'm not going to re-roll the thumble. That's bullshit. Um, okay, so that's yeah. Okay. Uh, does he get any extra wounds from that? No, it doesn't. No? It doesn't say, so I assume not. I I clicked on it. It doesn't. It just gets minus ten to all tests involving the leg. Okay. So if he tries dodging rather than parrying, he's going to have penalties. Yeah. But okay. okay, why would he uh, do yeah, that? Man. Okay, uh, aim and keep firing at the that git. <laughs> is that is, is this the same one that has taken a further battering from Hammerzite, or is it the other one that's taken a further? Yeah, battering? it's the same one. Yeah. Fucking hell, these things have like 50 wounds each or something. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll. No. <laughs> they just got a lot of toughness. They soak a lot of damage. They're tough and they've got play yeah, on. Nice. That's a good re-roll. Nah. So 19 Never. damage and a crit. Yeah. Show us that crit. Cracked Crack. ribs. So it's... And another three wounds. So are you, remember, are you it's shooting, 19 damage. Are you shooting ignoring... the one that was... Uh... Attacking Hagen. Please. One I shot before. I don't know which one that was. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, um, yeah, okay. so... Yeah, so 19 damage, ignoring any leather armour and one point of any metal armour. Um, he he grips his that, chest three and more wounds. to the ground, bleeding. Okay. Watch that he stays so. there. Um... Okay, so Rolf, he rolls at um, El he's, out, he's outnumbered now. Remember that when it comes back to our turn. Okay. El Mari. I'm going to re-roll that. Let it be paid. I'm going to just, just, gonna just re -roll that. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Dances around him very effectively after rerolling. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just need to do something. 
Stop trying to kill Maru. <laughs> he just wanted to be a diplomat. Okay. Good. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Just there. No. Hold on a second, I do apologize, guys. Uh... And suddenly the barmaid kills us all. <laughs> I have a feeling she's not just a barmaid, so. I suspect you're right. The barmaid is actually squealing at the moment. Oh. Um, maybe she is just a barmaid. Okay. Maybe, or maybe she's casting a spell. <laughs> so, maybe she's a ratkin casting a skaven casting. You're a spell. there. You've formed a front line now, and you're you're, you're facing the you you you're sort of enveloping. Uh, the two guards are sort of standing back, and Rolf's on his own. Yeah, Mordek. Um, do I get Yeah, I was about action. to say, it's not my turn. Also, doesn't the guard attack before? No, 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 so, somebody's attacking. Oh, oh, oh someone's attacking oh. me. That's fine. Oh. 120. <laughs> Jesus. What the okay. fuck is she doing here? So you feel the you feel that you've been penetrated in your leg, leg at the top of your leg, and in Grady shouts out for the ebon blade, and she sticks you through from behind with a, a sword, basically. I knew it, bitch! I knew it. I said we shouldn't trust her. <laughs> Well, this is the guard captain. This is our very yeah. good, alleged good friend. I knew we shouldn't have trusted her. Because she's know. a shape-changing demon, yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I thought, but still it counts. Um, so how much I, had, was, it I, a sh was Is there I, a parry there, or was it just a surprise? No, add, your, add your armor and your toughness. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's not too... Oof. Uh, five. Glad I didn't choose to bless her. Hold Thank on, God, so yeah. it's not the witch hunter, it's the guard captain. Guard yeah. captain. Yeah, it's the guard captain who's turned out to be a traitor and is trying to murder us. Yeah, apologies. I just saw the, the, the card with the name on it and I, yeah. I panicked. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Imar in, in panicked a little the bit. The Nurgle warrior did try to tell you, didn't he? Yes, they? yes he, he did. did. And, you. and we didn't find any evidence and therefore I think quite reasonably assumed that the filthy spawn of chaos was lying to us. Uh, seven. Okay. You have a hell okay, of a lot of toughness. The other two you. guards rush in and attack as well. Attack me? No. How many wounds have I taken, sorry? Uh, Eleven if you take seven off it. Okay. Oof. Okay, and they attack. I've got eight wounds left. I mean... That was nasty. I should have asked this beforehand, uh, Jim. Would my sixth sense helped us at all at that point in time? Um, no, not really. Okay, it's just that when we feel strange, f feel threatened. You were th <laughs> someone was trying to stab you. Your sixth sense yeah. was going nuts and not yeah. really helping. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you already it, it, understood you're in danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more, it's more of it's like that kind of like like spidey sense, like oh, what's that? <laughs> Literally been stabbed. Well, things seem strange, you know. You, 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 yeah. So, um, okay. So, Ilmarin and um, Ilmarin, these two guards rush at you. <laughs> Great. Okay. Cool. 
I'm now outnumbered. <laughs> nope. No, because we're, we're standing side by side. So we're still three against three. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm not outnumbered. Okay. With one at the back. I'll start yeah. getting three against four. Sure. <laughs> well, the um, thing is, I was standing behind you because I've been standing right. behind you to bless you. So she's just attacked Mordek as, you know. Yeah, she's sort of at the side of you almost. Yeah. Yep. But she... Well, she's about to taste Ulvik Kenyan steel. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are my actors? I there they are. Uh, currently, okay. I need to be attacked. Uh, 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 Let's see how well Imaran can continue to dodge. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, they're not that good, to be fair. Yeah. Okay. I need to dodge that still, don't I? Yep. Yeah, I so dodged that. But you're, yeah, and you get one advantage. I do indeed. Advantage. <laughs> I've lost my advantages now, haven't I? Cause I got yeah, because you took damage. damage. Yeah. Right, let me take mine off. I think it's impressive that everybody gets to see the master duelist at work here. <laughs> I'm not a duelist, I'm a diplomat. <laughs> We're going to keep saying it until you switch career, I think. <laughs> the problem with duelist um, career is it's more about guns, and I don't like it. The, oh, yeah, yeah, the, no. The second one swings at you. Nice. They really aren't as good. <laughs> <laughs> Even with that, I still Even with an AC4, you're still, you're still beating with four. Yeah. And that's me, max, my advantage, max okay. out five now. Carolyn. Um, I am going to attack this traitor. Yeah. Is it you, you a, is it a thing where, you, can you... I, is it a charge type event or is it just turn around and no, you, no. You, okay. you, you, yeah you've only got it yeah it, yeah but you'll be in her back when you you get an advantage isn't it an advantage no no no, no they're both, no. They're both no. at the back yeah. she, she'll know i was there when she's no, yeah I've she, not she, got, if if carolyn was at the back back then she would have attacked yeah. carolyn i was well whatever she decided to attack mordek mordek had been proving himself quite as, as you look whatever. over at her and uh, you see much that she she sort of turned to look, look look at you and sort of grins anyway so Whacker in between the eyes. Do her, man. Yeah. Girl fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she will. She will swing her. I mean, this makes me sad. Oh. Like lighting great. <laughs> um, yeah. So Carolyn is nowhere near as skilled a combatant as the rest of you, but I am going to be taking a reroll on that because Ooh. that's more what that's, nice. that's what I want. <laughs> oh no. Um... I mean, you do hit. You still do damage, but. Uh, and you're wearing armor. I'm wearing so. lots of armor. It wasn't the head. I'm wearing lots of armor. <laughs> so I still do 10 damage and. A, a plus zero endurance test. So it's not that bad. You don't have to. Actually, by comparison to a lot of the crits, that's mm, really not bad. Mm, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, do so I get my advantage on this because I just successfully hit her, or do I roll uh, it? Yes, all the advantages? you get advantage during combat. Awesome. Let me just add that. Although, I want... I'm not sure how this would work in the rules because you lose advantage as soon as you take damage. Oh, 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 oh. Mordek, uh, it's your turn soon anyway. I'll explain what happens anyway. Go on. Sorry, yeah, back, back to you, Carolyn. I, I, in my... No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Awesome. What damage did you do to her? Like 10. That was that was <laughs> not especially impressive. I think. Uh, no, you got it... plus 3 to so 14. She got plus 1. No, so that's, to... that's, taken oh. into, that's supposed to have been taken into account, although I'm not sure that's worked. It doesn't, I don't think so. Uh, however, it? you have robbed, robbed her of her advantage by yes, inflicting damage on her. Mordak! Yes, boss. So you felt you felt this blow to the back of your leg. Um, it also feels very icy. Okay. So could you take two wounds off your toe? No, you don't take it off, but take two wounds off your maximum. She hit me with this. I got hit with the same thing last week. Remember on that damn halberd. Mm. So not my current, but my max total. God total damn it, maximum. That's like my best thing. <laughs> At hurt. this rate, 
Imaran's going to have the most wounds. Stop losing wounds, everybody. <laughs> there we go. All right. What are you doing, Mordo? Um, apart from sh unashamedly shouting out in pain, um, I will... Am I st is the person I was fighting dead yet? Yeah, uh, he, he, he's on the floor. He's not dead, but he's on the floor. All right, I will right. turn to face whoever stabbed me in the leg. Okay, and... you turn around and you see Carolyn and um, Ingrader. Um, I will, I'm going to... Into the... I will smack Ingrader. Does that count as outnumbering? Uh, yes. No. I, I, oh, no. Yeah. It's two, it's two on one. engaged with anyone else. They're currently engaged with Omar in it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a big fight, <laughs> isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, but I mean, the two other guards that rushed up and the third one could engage with any of us, so I don't think oh, okay. there's really an outnumber okay. here. No, okay. we're, we're a scrum. I'll re-roll that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Uh, Chat want to be generous. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and I'm going to use a that one. Why not? Oh, it's a hundred. Yeah. Can you do a fate one. point to just be like, cool, no. Rog? I don't know what a fate it's point sorry. does. <laughs> oh, no, it's a, uh, you can use a resilience point to choose. I love role. that fumble effect, I have to say. So you can burn a resilience permanently and you can literally pick. What oh, you know what? I'm happy to keep that. Is it on the magical one? Yes. Excellent. I'm fine with that. Your magical <laughs> weapon gets damaged and you're acting last. Okay. You sure you want to go with that? I'm not sure if magical weapons can get damaged, can they? I'm always last. They can't. I'm always last anyway. Exactly. Next turn, you go last, regardless of anything okay. else, including the fact that... So she does block in... it with a substantial roll of 96. <laughs> <laughs> Can Mordic use double-handed weapons? Or is he just single-handed weapons? It's just uh, it's single-handed weapons at the moment. Yeah, but can he use two-handed? Oh, I can use two-handed, yeah. There's a, there's a big sword on my back that's two-handed and makes you fight first. <laughs> that'd be yeah, funny. That'd be awesome. It's no self-respecting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no elf. Um, okay, Ilmarin. Um, yeah. Ilmarin, Lord of the Min-Max. Sorry, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with his... Boss, before we start the next round, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to leave it there? I think, okay. if, if, I think before we start a new round. It's a place to leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it there. And we'll start the Christmas special halfway through. Um, I fight. think that, that does seem appropriate to just cut away to a Christmas yeah. special yeah. in the middle of a fight and then cut back in mid-combat. <laughs> mid um, that would make it kind of awkward, though. <laughs> No, we'll we be fine. Awkward is fight. awkward is sometimes I feel the right thing. It, it's it's it, it reminds been awkward, me. Awkward, haven't we? <laughs> Awkward's been uh, been in the game ever since uh, the baby's arm holding a feet. <laughs> um, so thank you all for watching. Okay, um, as you can see, things have eaten up quite a lot nicely at the moment. Um, will the party lose anybody, um, or will they finally get? the upper hand over the ebon blade as one of them lies bleeding on the floor while brother and sister Rolf and Ingrader um, take about the party um, join us next week uh, as we will continue and maybe next week we'll turn into a bit of a Christmas themed um, uh, session we'll throw, well. we'll throw mistletoe over the corpses or something absolutely I yeah. um, will <laughs> I'll definitely give you Christmas in one way or another. And whether it's a tree inserted up the wrong passage or whatever. <laughs> um, right. So thank you very much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure as normal. I absolutely love doing this. Um, this week on Garblag, we've got what's tomorrow? Is that um... uh, part two of the Carbon 2185 double yep. hitter? in the morning okay. or at your time in the evening? And then yeah, tomorrow it's night. Nine o'clock GMT. Yeah, and, and then nine o'clock uh, Central Standard Time, we've got uh, Delta Green, more okay. viscid. On Friday, is there some masks? Is it or is it Star Wars? I think Wars so. Or... I think it's yeah. masks, but it may be Star Wars. There'll know. be something but, on Friday. But I, please join us on it might Discord. Be, I think it's Star Wars this week. I think you're right. I think 17th is Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, Star Wars. Ooh. 
awesome. Star Wars. So that means you get more Jim. We all want more Jim. (laughs) 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 He stopped doing it. What a git. (laughs) Nice. um, So you're playing a Wookiee. Join us on Discord if you can't do anything else. Great Jim playing a Wookiee would would have been Um, amazing. We'd missed a trick. (laughs) (laughs) Please join us next week for the continuation. Roughly, we've got only about a couple more episodes to go before the the end of the season, so there'll be <laughs> some uh, yeah. next week. TPK. Um, there'll be some interesting things up, and I'm sure. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you to my players. See you next week. Thank you, Jim. And thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, Jim.